Hi guys, it's Stuart here from Airshow World and thanks for joining us on this uh, tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, Whistler scanners, the Whistler Digital DMR scanners. Okay, so the particular radio I have is the TRX2, but this tutorial um, will pretty much cover um, all of the uh, different scanners. We're going to use um, the program which is um, easy scan and I'll also show you the uh, download for the remote control and um, also talking about um, trunk tracking okay so without further ado let's go to the Whistler um, website here it is whistlergroup.com okay um, a lot of you guys are going to be so familiar with this um, but um, some people starting from scratch this is fit for you guys okay so what you'll do click on support click on downloads okay here this is the most important bit you make sure you select your correct radio okay because it's important that you download the correct software for the correct radio okay um I'm not going to go into the um, firmware updater um, or anything like that. What we're going to do today is we're interested in the uh, programming software. So click on that. Okay. So what you would do here, you would add to download queue. All right. And that would go into your basket just there. And also, I want to download the remote control so the remote control that's pretty obvious what that will do that will control your radio from your computer okay and do the same with that add to download queue what you would have to do then is just uh, if you haven't already got an account create an account that will allow you then to be able to download the software okay it's a free download so um, you've got nothing to worry about um, uh, you could can get daunted thinking oh I've got to put all my details in it's not a problem won't cost you a penny okay so get those downloaded and um, in the true blue Peter fashion here's one I did earlier there we go we've downloaded them okay so here's the um, software so let's just click on that we want to say yes to that okay so let's install it I agree Da, 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 installed yes that's the drivers for the um, USB the frequency data base library yes if you're in the USA do that um, but for the United Kingdom I wouldn't bother because it's not going to help you at all so take those out desktop shortcut yes we shall go for that okay so that's the default location yeah I'm happy with all of that so let's get that piece of software installed okay there it goes that's done okay the other download um, is the control demo that is the software for controlling your scanner from your computer okay um, you will need to know what's when you've um, plugged in your scanner you would need to know what serial port it's going to run off okay and um, it's usually going to be one of those it's usually in between one and four okay I normally find mine just drops itself onto number four okay but you just click on that click on begin if it doesn't find it okay you try the next one doesn't find it next one next one next did you find out that's probably the best way of doing it to, to be honest that there is other ways um, but to make it easy and straightforward for you guys okay so that would be your um, control demo all right um, okay that will have possibly downloaded direct to your my documents um, folder okay so let's go across Let's have a quick look, see where it's put that download for you for that um, demo. Downloads, let's have a quick look. Let's put this in data. 
but it'll find it straight away there it is just click that put some in download when it was downloaded okay control demo let's um, make a copy of that and I'll put my video tutorial so I can find it easily later okay that's that's all good okay so when you come to install your Whistler scanner software don't worry at this point the fact that it says United States and Canada okay just cancel that you'll get the option in a minute to be able to change that okay let's have a look what we've got here change there we go okay not now Okay. Come on then. Let's um, get it to do that. Yes, current, current, current. All right, fair enough. Um, I don't want to do it. What it was doing then, it was it was just wanting to do an auto update. Okay, so I've cancelled that. Okay. Um, this little thing here. Okay, you can now change that to United Kingdom. This is the latest version of the um, software called EasyScan United Kingdom there we go put that tick in there okay so absolutely nothing in this at the moment okay right on my previous tutorials um, if you haven't seen them please go back and have a look and that will explain how to uh, use the um, easy scan software to get your frequencies in here quickly and um, I sort of try to explain about the scan lists okay obviously I'm not going to go th um, through all of that because that's just repeating everything so just have a look at that and also I mentioned in the previous ones about V scanner folders okay but we are not going to go into that what I'm going to do right now though is plug in a um, the SD card that I have for my scanner so let's pop that in alright um, as far as transferring data from your radio to the scanner I prefer to um, take the SD card out, plug it into your card reader on a laptop or if you've got a card reader for your computer. It just make, basically makes it a lot faster to copy the data across. Okay, we've done all of this before, but um, always um, just double check what, what you're going to do. If, for example, I went to copy configuration, um, to scanner slash memory card if I did that now that would um, total, um, wipe out everything on my um, SD card so make sure you get this step correct because we want to copy configuration from scanner memory slash SD card we want to copy it from there we want to get it off that card copy it into the program okay on your computer make sure you get it the right way round okay yep it's found it you see the available drives okay All right let's have a look um, the reason there's a cross in these in this section is because they are on the card but they are not on the computer at the moment okay so all right yes we want to copy all of that and so we're going to copy the folders and they are going to put everything into yes this is a repeat of one of the early ones but we're just going through this installing from scratch and then we'll, we shall get onto the trunk tracking normally puts it in documents it should have created and it has okay trx2 oh, there it is and see look it's populating all of my v scanner folders okay there'll be a few more there's another one and another one will appear in a minute i think i've got 17 at the moment this is how i've got mine configured um 
I'm not saying it's the right way, like I said earlier, it's just how I do things, and that's the great thing about this radio. Um, you can, um, there's lots of different ways to configure it for your own personal choice. Look at that, that's a lot of data, that as imported. If you had that connected via the USB, it would take, for that lot, probably about five minutes. Um, it would take quite a long time. I've got a lot of um, uh, frequencies, and uh, you notice there's 17 different uh, V scanner folders. Okay, so for the moment, I'm just going to take out my SD card. Just one other point um, I'd like to mention. When you are um, using EasyScan uh, and you have the radio connected via the USB, okay, before you plug your USB cable into the laptop or computer always switch off your scanner okay I'm not saying pull the plug out just switch off the scanner okay then put the USB cable into your computer right because if you do it the other way it can corrupt the um, SD card okay so just make sure you switch off that scanner before plugging it in to the um, computer okay um, when you're using um, easy scan the um, it needs to be um, it will not um, control um, the actual scanner. The scanner will be um, in a state of, or um, if you switch it on, this is what I'm trying to say, if you switch the scanner on after you have um, plugged in your USB cable, right, you will not be able to send um, your programming from EasyScan. Okay, so your scanner does need to be, the button needs to be switched off, okay? When, obviously, when you're using the remote control software, um, yes, the um, scanner needs to be switched on. But as a tip, I would always, when you're plugging in your USB cable, make sure in the first instance, the scanner is switched off, okay? So, Sorry about going on about that, but um, it's it's quite important because I've seen on a few of the um, groups, especially the um, UK Facebook um, page, that um, people have had corrupted cards, including myself. Okay, and it's usually down to um, making sure that um, it's switched off when you plug the cable in. Okay, that's a load of waffle. Sorry about that. All right, so let's see what we're going to do. I'm going to create a new um, uh, V scanner folder okay let's go down let's have a look alright select new so what I clicked on open um, which is me being silly um, new configuration yeah that'll do here we go, you've got up to 200. We're not going to have that many. Okay. Down a couple more till I get to a blank one. Okay, that's empty, number 18. Okay. Um, select. Band plan. You notice every time. Yeah, you cannot set that UK. But once it's so, just it cancel all the little cross. Okay, so yes, United Kingdom, you can select it now. All right, so here we go. Nothing in here at all. Okay, what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch off that and that, so the radio doesn't keep going bleep bleep every time you touch a key or move everything okay um, I hate that sound 
Alright, let's have a look see what we've got. Yes, the default is enabled. Du -du 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 I'm just scanning down, looking at a couple of things. Okay, you could change the name just here um, for this particular V folder when you launch it into your radio. Um, okay, I'm going to call this trunking. T R U N K I N G. Okay. There we go. And also, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set a description. Um, T R U N K I N G. Um, new. Okay. Right. Talk groups ID normal. The, uh, let's have a look. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to advanced features. Um, this little bit here. This will show on your when you when we send this in information this configuration to the your scanner or the SD card um, this section will be the information you get on the trunked systems and um, um, on the little display uh, on the screen so what I want to see is I'd like to see the voice channel um, and the control channel okay and let's have a look Okay, yeah. Talk group. Yeah, I'd like to have the talk groups as well. Okay, so in line three will be that. Um, line four will be the system name. Um, yeah, I'll go for that. But I really want to be able to see the um, voice channel. In f other words, the frequency. And what if and what the control channel is. Okay. Alpha tag. Okay, this is for conventionals. Oh, right, that looks all pretty good. Okay. We're going to um, start to do some trunked um, radio systems in a second. What I want to do just before that, go back to support, look at the user guides. Okay, select scanners TRX2. Right, I'm just scrolling down so we've got a display of the. What I'm actually going to do uh, is um, so for people who are more advanced. Um, for using this radio, um, the actual trunk, um, creating the trunk systems, I'm going to put in um, the next tutorial. Okay, so guys, if you want to go straight to that, um, go to the uh, next tutorial in this series. Okay, right, hopefully, I've still got some people with me now. Okay, here's the um, display. When you are looking for these trunked systems, yeah, this is what you're looking for, yeah. If you're um, getting the radio to search, yeah, say on um, a um, is, um, spectrum search, is it, um, um, or on the sweeper mode, that's um, more like it. When it's um, going through, yeah. If you start to see that T flashing, that should tell you that that is a trunked system. Now, I'm not 100% convinced about that because um, my understanding of trunked systems is not quite um, how this is working out yet. But I'm taking it from the manual, and the manual says that if that T starts flashing away it's a trunked system okay now I've used um, two different types of um, trunked systems yes this radio um, which um, uses the DMR radio systems yes 
and um, it uses the talk groups yeah so basically you put the frequencies in to where I'm going to show you in the next tutorial and you put the frequencies in and then it wants to know what the talk groups are okay if you know what the talk groups are fine put those in but chances are you're not going to know what they are so what you do is you um, create um, a wild card okay and what it will do it will find those talk groups for you okay and when it lands on one of those talk groups um, to save when your scanner is running this is yeah um, when it it will show you yeah that's a talk group if you just hit the menu right then it would come up with an, an option to say oh yeah okay um, save this talk group because you've set the wild card okay it's probably all just gobbledygook that I'm telling you at the moment but I will show you in this next tutorial how to do all of that okay I'm just going through what we're going to cover okay in these next couple of tutorials right so there's the last thing to look for look for that T flashing away all right so um, let's have a quick look see if there's something else that I need to cover before we close this tutorial um, okay so basically this is how I would in the first instance have your system set yeah in the advanced features there global settings yep I'd pretty much leave that as it is um yeah scan this yes nothing imported yet trunk systems that's where we're going to go to in the next tutorial okay listen guys thanks for, for watching this one and um, yeah on the uh, next tutorial we're going to go straight in to creating these trunked radio systems okay thanks for watching I'll be back with the next one